here we come to the elevator at Caldwell Hall at Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. That call button looks like a Montgomery. Does not look like a Montgomery black button call station to you, but this obviously is not. Anyways, finally got something vintage. This is awesome, y'all. Julian, Adam, and a few other people have recorded this before. Wow, this is beautiful. So glad I finally get to check this out. All right, up to four, here we go. We're gonna need to stop the second floor because somebody is, somebody needs to use it. All right, let's, let's go down, let's go down to two to pick the person up. You know, let's look at a cab, look how small and tiny this is. Look at this thing, this is tiny. Much more smaller than anyone I've seen before. Are, are you going? Are you coming down? No. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I thought you. Were, I thought you were. Uh, you were getting on for a sec. Oh no! No, I'm just cleaning the door. Oh, okay. Thought I still stopped by and and uh, you know, courteousness. You know. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing good. I just I, I just like taking pictures and videos of this old uh, piece of beauty, this old vintage yeah. olive. <laughs> I, I I just thought you were uh, you, you were needed to use it, so I just thought I hand it to you. No, you good. You good. Okay. Do what you do. Okay? All right. Thank you so All right, much. You're welcome. Yeah, the lady is actually cleaning so that she doesn't need to use it, but okay. Look how small this thing is. Unfortunately, there's a there's a black button Westinghouse elevator. I mean, I don't know if it's still original, but unfortunately, Gowen Hall is locked. And the Mulan Library elevator, it's just a 1920s Otis, is unfortunately broken. And, um, and unfortunately... Some of the, I don't plan on seeing the other elevators because some I've already seen a lot, such as Epico Flushline and CJ Anderson Halo, like the one in the garage at, at, at UT Austin I got the elevator parts from. I'm not going to, I don't plan on seeing those, but um, I will, but I will check out, uh, ch check out um, the other building, McCourt Hall, to see if that elevator is original, but unfortunately the elevator at Gowen is unfortunately locked. I mean, not the elevator, but the building is locked itself. And 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 yeah, if you don't see any videos, then that means either I don't plan on making it or they're, they're locked. But I'll tell you more in the description. But anyways, let's go for another ride. Here we go. This thing is a beauty. I love this elevator. Single speed traction. Let's go back down. Big bump. Wow, 
This is beautiful. Love the relays. Got a, this is obviously top driven traction. I'm not sure if you can see out that vent, can you? No, I don't think you can. All right, let's go back down to one. I can't really see out there. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm not gonna film a whole lot of vintage I'm not gonna film a whole lot of elevators here because I only have this much time and I only just want to see the see the certain one like the certain ones like this one here. So I think this is one of the only few elevators I'm gonna film in this whole entire campus and probably upload this as my first video in um, here at Catholic University of America because I was gonna do the one. I was I attempted to film the gated Otis elevator from the 1920s at Mulin, but unfortunately it's broken and it wouldn't even move. Anyways, we'll go for one more ride. I just hope you guys would understand. There's your phone right here. This thing is an absolute pure joy. Back down to one and we'll end there. This is tiny. Look at this, y'all. Really tiny. This is a really tiny elevator. But I don't know what brand this thing is. Okay, we're gonna go and exit. Definitely the best elevator on this campus. There it goes, and that's it.